So today we're going to do my January favorites. It is February already. It's actually quite a few days into February. Oh, what? But okay. Um, I know I say this pretty much every time, but there really aren't that many this month, but there are some that I really have been loving, like completely obsessed with. So we are just going to jump in and I'm going to show you the products that I've really been loving over this past month. Start with, I'm going to start with what I'm wearing on my lips. I've worn mostly this one, but I do love all of them. I, I really like the formula of these. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. This one is in Rebel Rose. It is on my lips. I freaking love these. First of all, they're only about five bucks, and if you're lucky, you can catch Wet n Wild on a sale at Rite Aid or Walgreens. I ordered mine from the Wet n Wild website when I ordered a bunch of other stuff. I do have a Wet n Wild haul and a Wet n Wild like trying the face products. I will try and remember, try and remember to link those down below, but if not, Anytime you're ever wondering if I have a video, you can always search Shan Shortcake Beauty and then that video. These are so comfortable. They just go on so smoothly. My lips are so dry right now. So I've just really been loving this. I, I wish that there were more shades because I picked out the three that I really thought would best suit me, the three that I would like the most. I've mostly been wearing this one, but I just really love everything about this. I love the way it wears. I love the way it looks on the lips. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. Very, let's see. I'm getting no transfer. Some people say these are a little sticky. I guess if you put your lips together, they are. Part of me wants to buy them all, even though some of them I know I'm not gonna wear on an everyday basis. Uh, but this one. <laughs> Obsessed. 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 Let's see, I have been really loving this little guy. This is the Chocolate and Peaches palette from Makeup Revolution. I'm not sure if this one is that old yet, but just so you guys know, a ton of the chocolate palettes just dropped at Ulta. Go to Ulta.com and I believe they're going to be in the Ulta stores very soon. If you're ever wondering like what's going to be, follow Makeup Revolution USA on Instagram and on Facebook. Dude, we're getting so much stuff. We actually have a few palettes at Ulta that are not even released in the UK yet. So yay for once. So excited for us US people in this situation because <laughs> super excited. I'm not sure if they're going to have this one again, but I know like the Naked Chocolate Palette number one favorite Makeup Revolution palette is now available on Ulta.com. So that's exciting. There's so much new stuff. I'm definitely going to snag some of it to do a video for you guys. So definitely, of course, look out for that. You know what's coming. Yeah. So I just really like this guy. I really thought that it was very similar to the actual peach palette. I'm not going to do swatches or anything right now because I do have a full video with full swatches comparing it to the Too Faced Peaches palette where I swatch them side by side and I do one eye, one eye of each and it was very close. I just, I really like this little guy. I'll go back and forth between using this one and the peach one. This is what I kind of use the first couple weeks of the month, and then what I'm going to show you the last couple weeks of the month, what I was using. Anyway, really love this palette. Again, if you want to see full swatches and more info on this, I will leave that link down below. Plus this packaging, though. This packaging, though. The cutest of life. Okay, the next thing. Most of you probably won't be too surprised, but I am absolutely freaking obsessed. Obsessed. With the new ColourPop pressed powder shadows. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. I'm wearing them today. I've had this eyeshadow on since like nine in the morning and it is, it's been on for 12 hours. Most of my makeup, I touched up a tiny bit and put on a lipstick and stuff, but most of my makeup has been on literally for over 12 hours. I am obsessed. You can still see the pigment still holding strong. Of course, it was a little brighter when I applied it this morning. I'm pretty sure this is all of the shades. I also have the shades from the high maintenance and low key palettes in here as well. So obsessed. I really do love these two. This one I think is come and get it. Here, I'll swatch some of them for you. So stay golden. I have a whole video swatching most of these, but I don't have these two swatched because I didn't have them at that time that I did order myself. So stay golden and come and get it. I love these peachy ones. These two peachy ones right here. I'm obsessed. I have a ton of these on. I have some of these on down here. They're just so good. They remind me a lot of the Anastasia shadows, but I love the Anastasia formula and I'm just so incredibly freaking impressed with these. Actually, I'm going to keep swatching these. The two peachy ones, wait for it. I love this little guy. This is the lighter peachy one. They're just so pigmented. Look at that. That little swatch right there. And then this is Making Moves. I love this one as well. I love so many of these, you guys. And Bel Air, I'll show you in a second. Bel Air has been my go-to. There's that other peachy one. This reminds me a lot of Max Soft Brown. I mean, there's a couple in here. Wake Up Call also kind of looks like Max Soft Brown, but this is Bel Air. I've been using this a lot in my crease as like my transition shade. I like love it. Oh, I just love so many of these, you guys. So again, if you want to see full swatches, I have a video on that as well, but I am just, I just feel like these are so good. Again, they are $5 each on the ColourPop website. They're coming out with some Valentine's Day ones and I'm really excited to see those. I just, 
I really, I need two more to fill up this guy. And I'm definitely, definitely gonna have to order another palette already. They launched so many at once. Can you believe they launched all of these? Um, so the one thing that is exciting about me getting the PR and also ordering all these myself is as of right now, I'm gonna say that I'm giving away these two guys. So if you wanna win either the high maintenance or the low key palette, just leave a comment down below and I'll pick someone at random. I'll leave all the info down below because Honestly, I'm too tired right now to decide the rules, but just leave a comment. You must be a subscriber. Of course, I might do an additional giveaway on Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram and you have an Instagram, go ahead and hop on there. And that way you will know if I'm going to give away something on there as well. If you guys want me to do a video on like which actual ones are like my top five or my top 10 or whatever you would like me to do, just leave that down below and let me know. Um, I definitely will do a tutorial very soon using these. I did not film this look today because I, again, um, was out running errands and doing stuff today and hanging out with my family. So I did not film this when I put it on this morning. All right, do you want to talk about this company really quick? This was sent as PR, but I just think that this is so cool. This is Beautykind. It's beautykind.us is the website. And what it is, let me see if it still has the info in here. So here's a little card that it came with. It says Beautykind is an online retailer where you can shop your favorite beauty products and support your favorite charity at the same time. Beautykind donates 5% of every purchase to your selected charity, whether it is one of our national partners, your local animal shelter or school district, the choice is yours. So they sent me this little gift in this little tube. And that awesome thing is like you can choose what charity you want to donate to. So, um, and of course they sent me something awesome which bless their little souls. You guys know, you guys know, I freaking, I love Glam Glow. So they sent me the perfect little gift. So I'm very excited about this. Thirsty Mud is like my jam. I don't, do I have the orange one? No, I don't have the orange one. So I'm really excited to try the brightening one. And then I have a little of the anti-aging, but surprisingly, like a little sample I got in a beauty box. I haven't tried that one either. So I'm really excited to try these, but the hydrating one, the blue one, the thirsty mud is like my absolute favorite. I love that. And the super mud. So very sweet of them to send me this little guy. This definitely will get some use. If you do want to purchase this, you can get it obviously on beautykind.us and donate to whatever charity you want. I believe that they have a whole list or you can actually tell them which one you want to donate to. So I just think that's a really cool thing. It's a really cool company. I like that they're actually, I know it's only 5%, but at the same time, 5% of all of their sales, that's so much money that they're giving away um, for a really good cause. In whatever cause you want it to be, that's also awesome. So definitely kudos to them. Thank you, Beautykind, for sending me this little gift. If this clip right now looks a little different, it's because I filmed all of the things and I forgot to include the thing that I've been so excited to include in my favorites. I did give this guy a little shout out in my yearly favorites just because I had started using it and I knew I loved it. I am freaking obsessed. You don't even know. Like I keep getting the urge to order several of these so I don't run out. This is honestly the best, the best concealer ever. I still really love the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation as a concealer as well, but I do feel like this actually looks better on my under eyes. The coverage is really close. I feel like the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation is slightly more pigmented, but like this, as far as actual concealers go that are concealers made to be concealers, actual concealers, it's not a foundation. This is the most pigmented, freaking amazing thing of life. I have also had it on for a good 14 hours now. Maybe it settled a little bit into fine lines, but I actually feel like my under eyes look way better with this than the Marc Jacobs one, just because the Marc Jacobs one is a little more drying. Given my under eyes look a little dry right now because I've had this makeup on for over 14 hours so that's gonna definitely play a factor into it but I just freaking love this concealer the hype is real I used the shade fair someone said that there was a lighter shade and I tried to figure out which one was the actual lighter shade but this one still looks the lightest in the swatches on tarte.com so I'm not 100% sure if you guys have tried the other new fair shades if one's actually lighter than this one let me know but I have been using fair if you guys haven't seen this guy all over YouTube. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. It's got this giant doe foot applicator, which is really nice. I am able to just dunk it in once and like just pull it out, put half under this eye, half under this eye. You're able to like kind of move the wand around because it is so large. That it does get enough product to pretty much conceal my entire face. I always set mine. A lot of people say you don't have to set it, but I can definitely see that in this. Anyway, I'm rambling, but yes. Definitely number one concealer. I absolutely love this. If you don't want a full coverage concealer, this might not be for you, but if you're looking for something that's going to get rid of those dark under eyes, anything discoloration, this is also obviously a great spot concealer. So I just love, 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 I love it so much that I actually came back to film so I can make sure that this was included because it's seriously like the best freaking thing ever. Thank you, Tart. Tart, you killed it.
you killed it. This product, literally this product alone makes you want to try even more Tarte products. Like I've tried quite a few in my time, but this just makes me like they are stepping up the game. I can sit here forever and tell you how much I love it, but I freaking love it. I love it. Okay, that ended up being way longer than I thought it was going to be, but those were all of my favorites from the last month. I'm sure there's more because I always forget something or to include something, uh, but let me know your top five favorites from the last month down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could because that helps me out so, so much. Um, I think that's everything. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I've been loving it the most over this path. path. <laughs> the prop. <laughs> so we are just going to jump in and I'm going to um, but yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so obsessed. Ow, I just hurt my finger. Oh, that really hurt my finger. Ow. Um, my lips are so dry and I, I can't talk. And I have some, I have something in my eye right now. The middle, middle, the bit, bit, very minimal amount right here. You guys know by now. If you guys are subscribers of mine, you know enough about Makeup Revolution probably. My cat's trying to get in. What's new? One second, baby. One second. Um, I think that I'm wearing... I don't even know. I just love to put them all on my face. Where are you? Where are you? I just grabbed the wrong one. And it's Beauty Kind. www. www. Beauty Kind donates 5% of every purchase to your selected cherry. Cherry? Oh my god. Beauty Kind. I did get this little shout out in my yearly favorite just because I had started you. The coverage is very close. The more. <laughs> it's so good. Baby, so cute. Baby's a